Hi, I'm Rick Morales of HiPod, and I'm with the mobile 17-foot HiPod unit. Um, this is different from the 31-footer in that you can actually move while it's fully elevated. Uh, the, the fully elevated uh, X6, which is a 31-foot, once you set it, that's where it goes. This one can move uh, quite nimbly. So, for instance, I can tilt it back and move very quickly to any position I want to go. To stabilize, we've added a T-bar, a spring-loaded T-bar, and if you step on the base as well as the T-bar, the unit cannot go anywhere. In fact, I can push it, I can do all sorts of stuff to it, and it isn't going to go anywhere. You still have total control of your pan and tilt, and you have your zoom control, and you can see everything you're doing on the monitor in front of you. So, this gives you a basic idea of how the unit uh, is stabilized for, for um, positioning. Next, I want to talk about how do you elevate the tubes. It's quite simple. I hold the tube and then loosen the collar. Try and remember that. Hold the tube first and then you loosen the collar. If for some reason you open the collar first while it's elevated, the tube will shoot down. That's not a good thing. Always get in the habit of holding the tube, then doing the collar, and then you elevate. Okay? So let me tighten that off for a second. Straighten out my cables a second. And here we go. So, hold the tube, open the collar, and lift. All right? I can continue to go much higher, but I'll be out of frame. All right? So now, if you can see, but I have, I have obviously my pan, and I do have my tilt action. My, my video cable is a coiled cable that expands and contracts based on how, how much elevation I have on the tubes or how much contraction I have on, on the tubes, how, how, how contracted the tubes are. So that cable expands and contracts. Now, I can see across the room, I can obviously shoot whatever's going on um, and imagine us out on the field somewhere. But let's say I, let's slip the next stage. So hold the, open the collar, extend the tube, and this might be out of frame, but It'll give you an idea of how easy it is to move while it's fully elevated. So, I take my foot off the T-bar, I hold the pole, I tilt it back, I slide back on the tube. The further back you are, the easier it is to go, to move, and then you just go. Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to walk with this. Now imagine you're covering the line of scrimmage in a game. And some of the video in the background are examples of what we've done at games. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but we can show you clips later on. It's very easy to move in between plays. For instance, there's about 30 seconds to a minute between every play. That gives you enough time to move to the new line of scrimmage, or thereabouts, reposition the unit, and turn into the, the camera shot, turn into the play. You get your shot, you zoom in and out, you reposition your camera, you stop recording, tilt the unit back, and go to your next location. It's that quick, that easy to move. And we'll show you examples of, of plays or games that we've done. The key is when you look at one play, look at the next place, and look at the line of scrimmage. Where has, how far has the, the high pod operator moved? You'll see that some plays you'll have a camera, a bomb, you know, a 50 yard bomb, and the high pod can catch up within that 30 seconds. It's that easy to move with this.